Okay, welcome back to my channel. In today's tutorial, I would like to continue this uh, process which is for axis cam. And this part 2 is a machining section which is, uh, if you like to know how I create this model, you can click the video, previous video. And then now we're going to continue to the manufacture. Okay, let's get started. Okay, right now, if we already done the design, you go to the, the manufacturer and then create the setup, click the setup, choose the tuning and milling, and then you define the stock and also the setup coordinate or work coordinate system. Okay, as we can see here, you can flip your Z axis and then also you can use the spoon profile because of this profile is have a spoon profile so we can check mark this spoon profile this spoon profile came from the uh, spoon profile of this shape okay and then you define the offset from the front and I use two millimeter as a left material to uh, the process which is the facing process and then I adjust also the length of the overall raw material okay okay we done at the setup and then we continue to the first process which is the turning and I will choose the facing operation and then I will select the tool and I use the turning tool with the type of uh, general turning and then I will use the W and MG okay I select and then they automatically will detect the raw material and then they will put the facing operation okay as quick as that one okay and then the second one I will use the uh, turning profile roughing processes and then I also want still using the same tool and using the outside uh, profiling and the maximum spindle speed I will set to 5000 rpm maximum and then also the geometry this geometry I will choose the back side of the geometry which is the surface and then this is the clearance from the raw material and the tool and also the passes and cycle okay so I don't want to allow grooving in this operation and I will leave all the default and also the finishing allowance is 0 0.1 millimeter okay so when you click ok they will generate uh, the spoon profile see here the spoon profile they were only machining turning which is necessary okay now the second part is the come with the uh, let's see how's the uh, simulations going on between this the turning process and I will speed up the process a little bit okay as you can see they will create the turning process step by step and then until the all the material being removed as necessary as possible and as you can see here the turning process is uh, step by step through this process and until the end okay and then the next part will be the milling and this milling they have a rotary which is a new feature when you can find in the preference here but this one is still a preview feature if you click the preference and then there's a preview feature feature they also have the adaptive turning and also the spoon profile which is I mentioned before at the setting spoon profile and you have to check mark to in order to show and also the rotary uh, rotary option on the manufacturing side so please check mark that one and the menu will be showing up over there you just click and then you just select the tool I will select the milling operation with the type of a ball and mill and I will divide it into two process the first process I will choose the larger diameter which is 6 diameter 
and this will be as a roughing kind of the roughing process and then I will choose the back side of the uh, and also the rotary axis I will choose that face over there as uh, my uh, rotary axis let me see of the option yeah I think yeah I think that one okay I click and there's the face is a rotary uh, orientation of the axis okay and also a void surface if I click I will not or I will avoid that particular face that which I select so the tool will not go on touching those surface okay and then the rest is the direction okay and also the rotary processes there's a three type spiral line and circular you can choose whenever you like I will choose uh, this will be choosing the line and then I leave up the stock to leave 0 0.2 okay to the process okay when we click OK they will generate the toolpath this is the rotary operation as you can see the toolpath is done calculating and then they were creating the uh, but I don't want that at the back position so I need to slide a little bit the back face okay so because of the toolpad is touching at the that surface so I will drag this containment so I will keep the tool only at the part which is I want I want to machine yeah that one is uh, they were only machine on the part that's which I want to machine okay and then the second is the finishing part and I will use the smaller tool I will use the ball and mill as well but the diameter is uh, smaller I will choose the three millimeter of the ball and mill diameter okay that one and then for the rotary axis I still choose that one as the face and also the containment to containment I will select that one and then I'll also slide a little bit in order to just contain the tool pad on that particular location and also don't forget to click the touch avoid touch surface and the step over I will use 0 0.2 and the strategy I will use the circle okay with the climb method okay in because this is the finishing strategy okay when you click OK then they will generate the toolpad it's a quite a while so maybe you just wait for the computer or fusion calculate the toolpath okay it's done calculating okay as you can see here this is the rotary it's basically they just spin the material and then the tool will be cutting in order to create the desired shape Okay, here I will use this uh, simulation to simulate how's the result. I will speed up the simulation a little bit. Okay, uh, this is the rotary process, which is the uh, roughing operation. Okay, that one, and continue with the rotary as well. But this is the circular option. So as you can see here, when we see the result result of the simulation the material is not rotating but the tool is rotating because this is the simulation when in a real machining usually the tool will not rotating like this but the raw material will rotate along its axis so because of this in the simulation is uh, easier to calculate the tool will ro rotating like that okay so as you can see here the result is quite quick and then 
also quite smooth the surface result okay you can wait a little bit to see all the simulation being done okay I guess you can see here okay I will Okay, almost done here okay done and then we can examine the result I will zoom it a little bit so when you see here at the front is uh, okay and also at the radius profile there is a bit not quite smooth at the radius over there Okay, the red one so I will continue with the next process to in order to create a smooth so I will use the flow machining this flow machining I still use the same tool which is a three millimeter diameter and then I will select the radius over there and I will choose the tool orientation like this so the y-axis as the z-axis so I select the y-axis over there and flip at the z-axis over there and then I will use the along V instead of U because the flow line will be the direction of the flow and then using the number of step over 8 and forward till 20 degrees and maximum till 20 degrees and as you can see here so the toolpath is generating and when you simulate the toolpath here I will turn off the stock to get better visualize you can see here when you click at the toolpath the tool will follow but at the end of the process it seems that the holder will collide with the raw material I think because the tool is too short so in here I will edit the length of the tool so I will choose the that one is the edit if you edit you can adjust the length of the tool now is 35 okay the previous one is only 14 something and then when we click OK they will recalculate and then they will use the longer tool we simulate here okay is safe okay let me repeat again okay so this is the toolpath okay yeah this one is a safe operation because now the tool is uh, long enough to reach at a certain location without colliding with the workpiece okay okay the next one I still using the flow but I will select the little surface over there and then I still use the same z-axis orientation for the tool orientation and also I will increase the tolerance a little bit because okay so number of step is six and also the forward till and maximum till I adjust with 20 degrees okay they will calculate okay there is a warning here if you can see there's a one of more passes were partially skipped so some of the toolpath is skipped maybe because it's too small a uh, surface which is that we select that's why I increase the tolerance okay so this is the toolpath when we see here so oh, it's still safe it's not touching the it's not touching the workpiece actually okay okay yeah yeah it's a nice move Okay, 
and then I'll duplicate this tool toolpad I mean duplicate and in order to create the same parameter of operation I just duplicate the toolpad and then I'll de uh, edit the surface so I will select the other side of the surface okay and also the flip the z axis for the other part okay and all the parameters still the same okay generate quickly so when we combine all the toolpad will be like that okay and also this one I also duplicate and I repeat the same process select the oh should be at the upper only okay and flip the z axis okay and all the parameters still the same just click ok okay so the toolpad generate Okay, you can see the simulation here. Okay, so it's a uh, safe. Okay, now in order to see the overall process, we have to select the setup and then we can simulate. Click simulate, this means that we simulate all the toolpad. Okay, I will speed up the previous process which is we can we did seeing this process before okay just skip the process which is we already seen the process it's depend on the computer or in the graphic cards the performance of the simulation yeah this one is the new tool Okay, over there and this the below position okay let me turn on rotate the view okay okay I think it's finished already so you can see here the result is uh, the toolpad okay is linked perfectly good okay and then yeah I think that is for this tutorial and don't like don't forget to subscribe and like my video and see you in the next video bye bye